In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a stock screener so that we can find good investment options. Let's go. Hi guys, my name is Michael and I'm an accountant from Australia. On this channel, we talk about money and finances so that we can all live more fulfilled lives together. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, we're going to be talking about stock screeners today. And what this is, is a software or a platform that we can use to narrow down the options that we have with stock trading um, based on some criteria that we set. So we're just gonna jump on the computer now and I'll show you how to set this up. All right guys, we're in the computer now and what you're gonna want to do is go to a website called tradingview.com. Um, I've linked that in, this, in the description. You wanna sign up for an account, they are completely free. They do, however, also have some premium account with some premium features. Um, but I've only ever used the free um, and it's, it's enough for me. So um, once you've signed up, you can go to screener and stock screener. This is the stock screener page. Um, as you can see, it's just a massive table. Along the rows are different stocks um, that you can choose from. And, above, and through the columns are all these custom columns, which are different figures, different ratios, um, different bits of information about each of these stocks. Um, and as you can see at the top here, there's 5,104 stocks that you need to look through to choose your investments. But that's a tall, that's a tall order. So how can we narrow down 5,104 different stock opportunities to find the ones that we should put in our portfolio? Now, this is where the stock screener really shows off. So in each of these columns, you can actually add a filter. So for example, if you only want to invest in large market cap companies, you can click on this little on this little settings button here, and that's going to bring up an option to adjust. Now, 200 billion is obviously very big, so we're going to move these up and we'll just get companies with 10 billion plus market cap. And as you can see, we now only have 813 options. So this is how you can use a stock screener to narrow down, narrow down the options that you have. Um, maybe for example, we also want to go off the price to earnings. So um, maybe we want below or equal to 20. And now we have 175 matches. Um, maybe we want earnings per share as well um, of greater than five. Now we have 67 opportunities. So this is probably a good number of companies that you can have a look through. It's a lot more manageable now than um, what it was before, 5,100. So um, you can just simply click on any of the stock tickers and it will open up a little bit about the company. Um, it opens up their graph for the last um, year, 12 months. Um, you can see some more about the financials down the right here, such as the dividends, um, a little profile. Uh, I tend not to look at these ideas too much. This is all traders giving in, um, giving their ideas about what they're going to do with that particular ticker. Um, but yeah, this just gives you an overview of how you can use a stock screener to narrow down the options that are out there. I recommend you go find your own rules for how you want to set these columns. I'll just quickly show you mine. Um, this is the one that I've got called stock picking. I like looking at uh, the PE, the PB, ratios, as well as return on equity, return on invested capital. Um, they're pretty important things, but I also do like looking at um, su things such as debt to equity and the current ratio, just to give me a, a quick overview of what the balance sheet looks like. Uh, market cap, of course, the bigger the company is, the more stable it is, less volatile, they can ride out bigger waves. Um, but I also like looking at the business. So this net margin, this is, uh, the, the margin, the profit that they make on each of their dollars. So um, it just gives you an idea of how efficient the business is, the, the underlying product. So as you can see, Toyota here is only 5.5%. There's not a great ma margin on cars um, compared to Intel, which make you know the computer processors and everything. That's 28%. There's a much bigger margin. So um, that means there's a bit more freedom at Intel than there would be at Toyota. Um, these are just some of the things I look at definitely give the stock screener a go and let me know what your settings are. Thanks so much for watching this video guys. Um, if you enjoyed it, leave a comment below and please subscribe.